Hello and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Pauline Daniel, Managing Director of Europe at Encino, which offers a range of cloud-based banking operation solutions to the financial services industry. Pauline, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, can you tell me why sort of cloud uh, computing and cloud services are really a hot topic in financial services today? Sure, happy to. So we've seen a dramatic increase in cloud adoption over the last five or six years. It, starts in, it has started in certain geographies and has really started to pick up, particularly in the U.S., in Asia, and in Europe. So we've been very encouraged as a cloud-native application in increased interest in what we do and its acceptance across our markets. So the agility, the speed to market, the reliability and scalability of the cloud has really enabled our customer base, largely banks, to take advantage of these technological advances. So we've been, we've been uh, riding a nice cloud wave, and hopefully that will continue over the next few years. Okay, because as you say, there's been quite a sea change in the attitude, both by banks and by regulators, to cl cloud. You know, why is that, do you think? So we, we have watched um, the regulatory community go from sort of skeptical and maybe not so sure about the cloud to, in many cases, almost embracing the cloud because they see that the markets change, consumer and bank expectations have changed, and therefore the software that supports these, these institutions has to be as agile as the market needs will, will sort of mandate. So what they are asking of the institutions that they regulate is, hey, you've got to keep up with these changes and therefore you've got to get new technology and architecture that will allow you to move as quickly as you need to. So we feel like the more people learn about the cloud, the more and more it will be adopted and the less the less barriers there will be towards its adoption. But do you think there's a, been an increase in sort of the ideas around security in terms of acceptance that maybe cloud is as secure as on-premise? Yes, I think what we've seen from our customers who have chosen the cloud once they've gone through and once they've gone through regulatory exams by these agencies, what they end up, uh, the conclusions that come from them is that it's actually a safer and more reliable service than something that the bank actually maintains itself or outsources to an on-premise provider. So I think the regulators are starting to understand the longer that the cloud has been in production in various places, that it actually is it is safer and it is more reliable than some of the more traditional alternatives. Okay, and can you explain some of the milestones that Encino has hit since its sure. founding in 2012? Sure, so Encino is about, as you said, started in 2012. It's about six and a half years old. We've now got over 200 banks using the software around the world. So the, the, the company has evolved quite quickly. We now have 11 of the top 25 banks in the United States using the software. 65,000 end users of our software log into the system every day, which is great. And we started to see rapid growth around the world. So the company started in the US, but now we've got offices here in London. We're about to open offices in two additional countries to support our international growth. So we've seen tremendous, tremendous uh, expansion in the company and in interest in our offering. And that's largely driven by, as you mentioned before, interest in the cloud and doing things differently. But working with incumbent institutions is a bit difficult for a small startup. You know, how have you uh, overcome some of the challenges that you've faced? So it's, it's an interesting evolution. Um, large, large banks today oftentimes, believe it or not, still operate in the space where we play with paper, with emails, with spreadsheets which is not scalable and is not in step with the way consumers or bank employees expect to interact with, with technology. It's just not the way they, they do their daily work. It's not the way they interact with systems like Amazon and Facebook and things like that. So what we've seen is, is a desire to change the way they operate. So the cultural element of the larger, larger banks adopting what we do has actually been a larger, larger thing for us to tackle than the actual figuring out whether or not our software is a good choice for them or not. So we've really tried to, to partner with both the business leadership as well as the technology leadership to bring them together where historically they've sometimes been at odds with one another, but with Encino, because of the way it forces collaboration between these two constituencies, we've, we've, seen, we've seen really strong adoption and partnership between these two different factions. 
A lot of banks talk about you know, becoming more customer-centric, but how can they really do that in today's world? So what we've seen across our customer base and what we're experiencing as we enter new markets is changing expectations among the bank employees as well as with their customers. The folks that are going to be winners going forward are the folks that embrace this digital transformation change, and that's, the, that's largely part of what we afford our customers to do is bring current and future ex expectations to the customer through the digital platform that we enable. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Pollen. Thanks for having me.